Hi everyone, today we're sitting on a couch, watching TV. Oh. That's a problem. We have to fix that. Yellow person Nodon seems to have been trying to relax and take a break between shooting tutorial videos, but he can't get away from his life's problems. We need to help him get to the store and buy fish food, so today we're going to be making a person Nodon drive a car. We need them to enter the car and control the car only when they're inside of it. We'll start by moving this apartment building out of the way conveniently. The method mostly relies on teleport nodons. You need one entrance attached to the player and one exit attached to the car. On the entrance teleport nodon, we'll set it to teleport the person object and we'll set it to invisible. The teleport exit needs to be done carefully. You want a connection setting of Z negative center. The size will be 0.6 by 0.6 by 0.1. This is important because of the place that it will teleport the person in the car. We'll also set it to invisible and remember to turn the teleport physics to reset with a launch speed of one and a launch direction of Z negative. If you don't reset the physics, the person will look like they're constantly falling downwards out of the car. Now that the teleports are set up, we'll start creating the logic on deciding when the player should enter the car and exit the car. We'll use a touch sensor that is detecting person objects. Since the car is 1.6 in all dimensions, we'll make this a 2 in all dimensions, so it is a little bit larger than the car. We'll set it to invisible and connect it to the car directly with a connection point of center center. We'll want to enter and exit our car with the X button, so we'll get a button press node on and add it. The AND node on will only fire off when we're in the vicinity of the car and we press the X button at the same time. The button press node on settings should be set to on press. We'll use a flag to keep track of whether we're in the car or out of the car. We only want the car to work when we're inside of it, operating it. The and output will go into the flag. When you are near the car and pressing X, we'll turn the flag on. To create a simple toggle, when you are in the car and you press X and the flag is on, we'll turn the flag off. Now we want to be able to accelerate the car only when we're in it. We'll get another AND node on and connect the output of the flag and the button that we want to accelerate with. And we'll attach that to the accelerate input on the car character controller. Next we'll want to affect the steering when we're in the car. So we're going to need an AND node on and connect the flag to it just like we did the button. The difference here is that the stick gives a value from negative one through zero to positive one, but the AND nodon only outputs a zero or a one. There's a very simple fix for this that will help anytime you want to transfer a complex value after an AND or a NOT check. You can simply multiply the AND output with the original input, in this case the stick. One multiplied by whatever number will always be that multiplied number. Now the steering is all set up, we can connect it to the left right steering. We'll copy and paste the accelerate setup so that we can change the button press and have a reverse. Reverse in this case would be a negative one, so we'll just add an invert value node on. Finally, we'll set it so that when you are in the car, the teleport is always actively working so that you are constantly being repositioned into the car. We can now place these objects back in our scene and see if Yellow Person Nodon is now able to go and buy his fish food for his beloved pet. Perfect. Now we can get in and out of the car and have full control of it when we're inside. 